everybody. Happy Tuesday, and I believe it's the fourth day of mine and Ashley's Chiller Thriller Readathon 4.0. can't believe we've been, this is our fourth year doing this. Um, I haven't read anything since the last time I updated you guys, but I am going to start on the rest of the weight of blood today. Um, I started this a couple days ago, but then... Um, wanted to concentrate on the Year of the Witching, which I already told you I read, and I already told you all about that. Um, I know I said I was going to have that video up on Monday, but it never happened. Then I was going to put it up today. Still hasn't happened, so hopefully I'll get that video edited and stuff today and put it up tonight. <laughs> my brain. But I wanted to come on because I got my book of... Oh my god, this thing's heavy. I got my book of the month for... Oh my gosh, <laughs> we're October, the spooky month. Um, of course, it's all the way over here. Let me see if I can bring it over here. There we go. Oh God, please don't pull my, I thought I was going to pull my muscle. I'll pull a muscle. Try to be careful. I don't want you guys to see my, um, my melon head. <laughs> I was going to do like a live and just do my book of the month unboxing live. I think I will do that for um, some of my boxes, but not all the time. So let's get started. Ugh. Actually, this ain't the one that I picked for the, for the main one. Let me show you the one. This was my main pick. So let's start. I'm trying to find the... the um, oh my gosh, they make these books like... So much into this book. Okay, here we go. Um, if you don't know, book of the month. Um, they always have between five and seven main selections, and the first one I think is sixteen something for the first book. Um, it's like I think it's sixteen oh four or seventeen oh four. I can't remember anymore. For um, for me, when I get the box, um. Yeah, and then uh, each additional one is ten ninety nine, but you could get up to two additional books, so you can get the main pick and two add ons. So, anyways, and that's how it works. Um, the bookmark says, "I put my shelf first, and then on the back of course it just says book of the month." Focus. I guess you could see it kind of. Okay, so the main book I got was Thistlefoot. Two of these were the main selections. This was a main selection. The next one was a main selection. And then the third one was an add-on. So, I'm not too sure about this. It says it's by Gina Rose Nether, Nether it, Nethercott, something like that. I cannot tell. <laughs> I think they inherit this house that's on chicken legs from somebody, and it's paramoral. Um, yeah. And then, of course, it has the Book of the Month logo on it. And you open it up, and it tells you the year, October of 2022, is when you got it. I mean, the month of the thing. Yeah. And I never show the author, so let's show the author's. I hardly ever show the author, so that's the author for this one. It's, it says the Yagi, Yaga, Yagi, Y-A-G-A, -A, I forget how you say it. Siblings, Bellatin, Bellatin, a young woodworker, and Isaac, a wayfarer, street yeah, right. performer, and con artist, have been estranged since childhood, separated by both resentment and by wide miles of American highway. But when called to receive a mysterious inheritance, the siblings are reunited, only discover that their bequest isn't land or money, but something far strange. A sentiment, a sentient, S-E-N-T-I-E-N-T -E -E house on chicken legs. Yagis, I think that's how you say Yagi. It says there's a, a, 
It says when they arrived to their ancestral home, ancestral, how you say it, home in Eastern Europe, but not alone. A sinister figure known as, only as the Long, Long Shadow Man has stalked its, it across continents, hearing violent secrets from the past. Okay, that's all I want to know. This one sounds like it's going to be really good. So this one, I'm definitely going to be reading this month. Um, I think you got, I might be reading this for um, Clint. My friend Clint is doing a readathon on the 16th. I'm going to be making my video for that today. So that should go up tomorrow or Thursday. But he's doing a readathon called, I know what you did last summer readathon. And one of the books is read a paramoral book or has paramoral elements in the book. So this one, I will probably be reading for that. And then I got signed here, a novel by Claudia Lux. This was another main pick. This is a darkly humorous, surprisingly prognant and utterly gripping debut novel about a guy who works in hell, literally, and is on the crisp of a big promotion. If only he could get one more member of the wealthy Harrison family to sell their so, okay, that's what I'm going to tell you. But look at that. Look at the blood right there. Blood, blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. blood. Like these you want to go in as, as uh, what you call as possible. Blind as possible. This is kind of long. Well, not really. It's 400. 402 pages. But that's what Claudia Lux looks like. That one definitely looks good. But my most anticipated one is Spells for Forgetting by Adrian Young. I think um, he was accused of murder and then he comes back and stuff happens too. Uh, it says, from best-selling author Adrian Young comes a deeply atmospheric story about an ancestral, how do you say that word? Magic, an unsolved murder, and a second chance at true love. Yeah, Emery Blackwood's life changed forever. The night her best friend was found dead in the love of her life, August Salt, I mean, Salt, 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 S A L T, was accused of murdering her. Years later, she is doing what her teenage self swore she never would living a quiet existence on the misery remote shores of South. Or Sia, something like that, island, and running the family's business. Blackwood's Tea Shop, Herbal Tonics, and Tea Leaf Reading. But when the island, rooted in folklore and magic, begin to slow, I mean, show signs of strange happenings, Emery knows that something is coming. The morning she wakes to find that every single tree on Sisora, Sisora, something like that, has turned color in a single night. August returns for the first time in 14 years and unearths the past that town has tried desperately to forget. Yeah. Sounds like it's going to be good. I know um, Heather from Bookables read this. I think she gave it a 4 or 4, four or a 5 star. 4.5 star maybe. It's 346, so, and of course that, if you don't know who Adrian Young is, this one, like, it's got the green that I love, and the gold, green gold, but yeah, this, I am excited for all these books, all three of these books sound like they're gonna be amazing, 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 yes. So, yeah. these were my three picks. They had a lot of to choose from this month, like a lot of good ones. So, yay, because last month I skipped because there was nothing I wanted, really. There's like one I wanted last month, but yeah. But you can skip, and the credit will be like, you know, you know, sent for, I'm um, saved for next month. So, yeah. But, yeah, I will be back later when I have actually read something. So, I'll be back later. Talk to you guys then. Bye.
happy Thursday, everybody. Sorry I haven't updated you in a few days, but I have not been reading. But last night, Drew, thank you again. Me and Drew did some reading sprints on my channel. We were PJs and we just had some reading sprint. And we had a good time. And we both started reading Belladonna by Adeline Grace. This is, the cover is off, of course. I mean, the dust jacket is off, sorry. I'm already loving this so much. Oh, yes, I am. Death is definitely very intriguing. And I really like, why do I always forget her name? Signa, Signia, Signa, Signia, something like that. Signa, Signia, something like that. I really like her. She got some spunky spunk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get ready to eat, so I don't really like know too much to say. You stay down while I'm eating. You stay down. I'm going to be eating in a second. Grayson trying to jump up on my lap. But I got to page 95 in this, and yes. And then we got Silas, Cyrus, Silas. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I really like Cyrus, Silas, Cyrus. How do you say his name? But the, but Death and Signia, Signa, Signia, how do you say your name? Are so like, their dynamics together, to me at least, is so awesome. I know that it's more like mystery because they're trying to find, um, the guy that become like, is the, uh, her, uh, guardian, I guess you would say. Um, his wife died, and she comes because um, Signia, Signa can see spirits and stuff like that. And she comes to her and tells her that she was murdered. And the daughter's really sick. And yeah, so it's like a mystery, thriller, fantasy, you know, a little bit of everything, romance. Even though I've heard that romance isn't like heavy centered, you know, it's more like, like, you know, that sexual tension, I guess you would say between them. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, uh, as you can tell, I already started tabbing. I wrote some notes. I'm not going to show it to you too much because I don't want you guys to get spoiled, but I wrote some notes. Um, I underlined, of course. This is like, like how people are described. That's and the setting is just described. Things like that I put in that color. Um, I have, of course, some that are quotes. This one's another one where it was just something was described, and I wanted to underline. It. I don't underline everything that's 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 described something, but every once in a while. Cause we'd be here all day. I would be like, what you call it? Everything. <laughs> but yeah, I really love like he calls her my little, little bird. There's this quote here. He says, your name is no curse, little bird. I just like the taste of it. <laughs> like, oh my God. Just that, that loan makes me like, woohoo. Ah, it's like, come on. And at the beginning, it says, death was suffocating and he was ice. I need to go back because there's some other stuff that I, that was in, that I wanted to highlight that should be in green that I didn't because, you know, we were doing lives and I wanted to try to get some red. Me and Drew were both reading this. He is ahead of me, but he listens to audio and I don't think he like does as much as I do. Like, you know what I mean? Like take notes and. You know, he does underline, so, and tap. I mean, I don't know if he underlines, because he said he's never wrote, no, actually, he, I don't think he does, because I'm positive he doesn't, because he said he don't, um, he don't write in his books, but he's thinking about it, maybe. I said, if you're thinking about it, and you're not sure, write it in pencil, you know, like, underline everything, or write what you want to say in pencil, and then if you're not feeling it, then, you know, you can erase it, you have that choice. That's what I was telling him, but yeah, um, but he does tab, so yeah, 
<laughs> and we had a good old time. Just me, him, and a few of this of my subscribers and his subscribers. So thank you guys for showing up. It was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to probably be doing another read and sprint tomorrow evening. Ashley wasn't able to come, unfortunately, because she's sick. Um, she was put on some weight loss medicine and it's making her super sick. So she said um, she might be extending the readathon for at least her for another week since she hasn't been reading because she's been sick. So yeah, me, I might add a couple of days on because my mom isn't going to be here. Um, I mean, my mom's going to be here the last, like, Wednesday. Yeah, thir she'll be here Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So three of the days of the readathon. So I might extend three days. Even though um, my friend, excuse me, Clint from Reads Readers, um, yeah, he is doing one. Uh, Readathon. Uh, I know what you did last summer. My TBR is in my, you know, for that is down. You know, in my videos, if I remember, I'll put it in here. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm really loving this. I am going to go and watch a video, eat, and then I will read some of this and I'll get back to you guys later. And, oh, I was going to say, I'm also behind in my stories for Eternally Yours. So today I got to read like three. I think I'm behind by like three. I don't know if I'll read all three. I'll probably read two and then get caught up tomorrow with the, with the other two. So yeah. All right. I will be back later. Hi everybody, so I didn't read anything else, but I got um, something for McMillan. I think it's for pre-ordering something, so I wanted to share with you what I got. Yeah, it's from the sun. I thought it was gonna be from this, cause Jeff, my one of my friends on Instagram got one. Got his yesterday, so I thought that's what it would be, but I wasn't positive. But it's for um, pre-ordering the Sunbearer Trials, which is going to be one of my favorite books of the year. So we got this cool pen. Let me show you. It's a really cool pen. It has the main character. Doesn't what you call it very good, but got that. That's just, you know, saying the you are cordially invited to the Sunbearer Trials. Come see our greatest young heroes compete in a series of trials across Reno de, del Sol to become the next Sunbearer, September 6, 2022. The sun, number, I mean, ta, or the, I mean, t, whatever you want to call it, hashtag. The Sunbearer Trials. And then we got some um, things. I'm trying to get it to open. Excuse me. Just the different character cards. My gosh, I cannot get them out. There we go. So here's... Marno, Mar I forgot how you say it, which is the son of Aga, Agu, something like that, A-G-U-A. Says he's 16, six foot, pronouns is he slash him, Specializes, specialization is water, weakness is fire and heat. And then, of course, Teo, 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 son of Quazel, something like that. He's 17, he's 5'7". Pronouns he, him, specializing, or specialization is flying, and weakness is unknown. And we got Nia, Naya, daughter of Terror, Terror, something like that, I don't know. Age 17, wait, she's tall, 6'5". Pronouns she, her. Specializes, specialize in metal and weakness Reliance on Earth. Sorry about that. If you hear that whining, that's Rowan one and in, but he's going to have to rest. Wait, Zio? Is Io? How do you say his name? Zico? Zio? Z? I just call him Z. Son of 
Mela something. Mel, I don't know. Thir 13, he's 5'2". He, him is his pronouns. Or he, him, pronoun. Yeah. Specialization is unknown and weakness is unknown. And the last one is Eurelia. Eurelian? I forget how you say the name. Son of Lembra. 17. Height 6'3. Pronouns he, him. Specialization is manipulator. Or man, yeah. Manipulator. Weakness is water and cold. So there we go. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully, I'm going to be in the mood to read. Right now, I'm really nauseous. I'm kind of, ugh. So, we'll see. I'm going to try to read, though. And if I do, I'll get back to you guys. But I just wanted to share. All right. Bye for now. Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. I'm sorry. I'm sounding so happy Friday. But, you know. It's that time of the month for her being a girl. <laughs> um, of course, I haven't read anything since I last updated you guys yesterday. I'm sorry, but I'm just like in a bad like reading slump. <laughs> yes. So I, I want to. Um, this is what you're gonna have to take one of your. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Robin came in to bring me my phone, but I did get something in the mail, so I wanted to share. I did it in one swipe again. That doesn't happen very much, but lately I've been lucky. Oh my gosh, this thing's huge. I didn't know it was going to be this gigantic. Oh my gosh. Boy, oh boy, is that a huge little, huge book. So I got um, Adam Severa's new book that just came out Tuesday. So happy belated book birthday. But I got um, the sequel, the prequel to They Both Die at the End, which is the first to die at the end. It's a Barnes & Noble exclusive. It includes special content, it says. Look how huge. Like, gosh, that's big. Ooh, look. Stalls and stuff. Ooh, look at this. It says Death Cast on, death cast on it. Oh, wow, that's cool. I love when books do that. You know, when they have the, the beautifulness on the naked of the cover. Death Cast, part one. Or part one, Death Cast Eve. It says, everyone wants to know how we can predict death. Tell me this. Do you ask pilots to explain our, our, our how you say it? dynamics, how you say that word, before boarding the plane, or do you simply travel to your destination? I urge you not to concern yourself with how we know about the deaths, and instead focus on how you'll live your life. Your final destination may be closer than you think. Jacqueline Rosa, creator of Deathcast. Mm -hmm. Let's see what it shows on the back. So, let's see what we have. That is... Special contents. Oh. How many pages? Ooh, this is a. Wait a minute. I'm trying to find out. <laughs> the beginning, the beginning. I'm trying to see, like, when this one actually. Oh, God. It says the end on 115. That's all I know. And then it says part five, the beginning. I'm not sure, you guys. I'm not sure, like, what the actual. Like, when this book actually is over. But, there's acknowledgments on 551, so I'm assuming then. But, I'm not sure. <laughs> but, acknowledgments is on that page. But, then it has all this other things. Like, certain dates and stuff. I am not sure, you guys. So I don't know if that's the actual chapter, I mean, book, or just the extra content. Okay, it's extra content. Okay, no, my because I went past it. It started on page one. Let me see what that says. Hold on a minute. Acknowledgements. Okay. Turn the page for exclusive bonus contents. Somebody's short story. Question and answers with somebody. And then something from the author. So, yeah. 
I'm not sure if their names are spoilers, so I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> but yeah. So there's some extra little thingies in here with two different characters. And then we got exclusive conversation between Adam and a couple of book talkers. So, yeah. But I love the cover. I love the cover. And they both die at the end. I loved him so sad. And I know we get to see them when they before they died and, you know, when they were younger and stuff. I'm so excited about that. But this thing is, like, big. Big, big, big. But I'm excited. This is um, the Queer Reads Book Club pick that my friend Drew and Charlotte runs on Instagram. I think this is their pick for next month, November. So, yay. Even though I've been reading them before, if I do read them. But, yeah. Hopefully, I will be back later and actually have read something, you guys. I'm just in such a slump. I'm sorry that the content isn't like it was last year at during mine and Ashley's readathon, but she's been sick. Um, and I've just been in a slump, and, to, and then, you know, like I said, it's that time for that girls have to go through. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> I hopefully I will be feeling better soon. All right, I'll be back if I read anything. Bye for now. Hi everybody, happy Saturday. Let me get a cough drop before we get started. I'm sorry that I didn't update you guys again yesterday after I update you in the morning. <laughs> That's gonna be a theme on here, I think. Updating you once a day. I'm sick, so we're not going to be on here very long. But yes, I did read some more last night. During our reading sprints, I had reading, reading sprints on my channel. And yeah, I might be doing some more tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, we got to 189 in here. And I'm just loving it. I love Death. I love Signa. Signia, how is her name? And I love Silas. And I'm curious about Silas. Like, who he is. I don't know. I don't want to talk about what I think, who I think he is, because spoilers. Um, well, it could be spoiler. It might not be spoiler, because it might not be true. But anyways... <laughs> I really love, like, her with all, with both of the guys. But I know that the main romance is between her and Death. Or, you know, the people that, you know, that like each other or her and Death. Even though right now, he seems to like her, but she doesn't seem to like him. She doesn't, I think it's because, well, I'm not... I should say, I think. I know it's because he's death. So whenever he comes, somebody dies that she knows. And even if the person ain't nice to her, you know, they're the only thing she has. So, yeah. So she doesn't like that, that every time he comes, someone dies. Which is understandable. And we're just, we're finally getting to like, some of the stuff that was talked about in the, um, you know, where it tells you what it's about in the flap thingy, which I don't know what I did with my, my book cover for this, but yeah, <laughs> that's okay though, because it's beautiful without the cover. But yeah, um, it's very like atmospheric, so it's really good for this time of the year. I can't remember if I showed you guys, but I think I probably did. But my, um, Fraternity, how do you say it, came in by Andy Mintus, 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 I'm not sure. I'm not going to read to you everything. The tagline on the front is, be careful what you pledge. And then, the beginning, the, at the top here it says, 
a mysterious boarding school, a brotherhood in the shadows, and an ancient evil that could tear it all apart. So, yes. I might have told you guys about this already. I can't. Like I said, I can't remember, but just in case I did it. I'm going to get some markers later today from Amazon because I wanted to get some just for writing in the book, like to take notes or to write on my, um, or to write on these. Because everything doesn't, I don't like how they turned out, how it, how it like shows up on the book or, or on here for the markers I have now. So I heard that the ones that I'm getting are better for like taking notes. So I'm hoping when they come, I will show you what they are. But yeah, I just know I'm really loving this. I know I'm not doing a very good job this readathon with vlogs this year, but I'm just in a reading slump, not feeling good. Ashley's not feeling good, <laughs> hasn't been feeling good. So both of us are like not doing the best in vlogging, but it is what it is. I am doing read and sprint, so, yeah. But this might be the last one I, that I read for this readathon because I have to um, start um, this because I'm on. I got to review it on the nineteenth for um, Rock Rock Store Rock Star Tours. So I have to get this going and how much of a slump I am. It's probably going to take me to the 19th to finish it. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go, and hopefully I'll get some of this red today. Because I'm not going nowhere with the way I'm feeling. It gets, feels really swollen right here in this area. So, yeah. <laughs> but I will try to update you guys later, even if it ain't an update with... If I don't up update you later about the book, then I will at least show you guys the markers. Okay, I'll talk to you guys all later. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I know I got this around my neck. <laughs> it helps me because I get really bad pains in my neck. Excuse me. Sorry if you hear that. They're watching something and I did shut the door. But <clears throat> got my micro line markers there's 11 different colors and then five that are that are black so all together 16 i did it one they had like one that was a bigger pack it was like tw but it was like 20 dollars, and i really didn't have 20 dollars right now and i didn't know if i was gonna like them and i wasn't gonna spend no 20 dollars on markers if i don't like them so i was like you know, if I could find one that's like around 9 or 10, I would get it. And these were like $9 plus tax, so a little over 10 or right around 10. But anyways, yeah. I'm really excited about these. I hope they work good. Um, there's a blue. Or is that? A, yeah. Two different blues, a dark blue and a light blue. I think that's supposed to be. And then there's two greens. There's this green. And then there's this green here. And then there's brown purple I guess that's a pink um I already said that one a yellow a red a gray I think that's supposed to be gray and an orange and of course you guys knew you guys know the ones I really use are are green my the main colors I use are green that's a um a big like tab color of mine pink blue did i say green yellow orange and blue yeah blue green purple pink yellow red i mean and orange i mean but i do have like other colors now that that could these could work for I don't think I have any browns. I'm trying to remember if I have a a gray. I think so. Sorry about that. Rowan's wanting Rob to take him for a walk. 
Like there's these colors that I use. And I think one of them, it could be like a grayish color. But it looks more like a green, actually. I'm not sure. Like this one here, number nine, it kind of looks, I think that's more like a green. But I have other tabs too, besides this. These in color that look gray, more grayish. So yeah. Um, I did read a tiny bit more in um, Belladonna. I'm on 200 now in Belladonna. I can't remember where I said I was when I talked to you guys last. But yay, I'm at least at 200. And I'm listening to the... I am listening to the audio of this. Um, this is a group book, of course. And it's a Carrie retail, and I'm on page 58. Sorry, my neck itches. I don't know how I'm feeling about it yet. I like the narrators, but I don't know if I like the story. But that makes sense. I don't like... Uh, I don't know. Let's see, Carrie wasn't one of my favorites. You're lucky. So, yeah. So we'll see. Right now, it feels like a two and a half, three star. But I just started it. Like, there's almost 400 pages. And I'm only on, like I said, 58. It's already, like, very, like... There's already abuse in here, of course. Um, um, of course, a lot of racism. It's just really already so dark. And you're only 58 pages in. Uh, yeah, the kids are so mean to her. To, what is her name? Maddie? Yeah, Maddie. They are very mean to her, so, yeah. Like I said, abusive, abuse in here. So be warned of like, yeah. Be warned of that abuse. Yeah. So I don't really know what else to say, but yeah. Very dark. Very, very dark. Already. But this one, I'm, like I said, I'm loving. Like right now it feels like a four and a half to a five star. I love death in here. Like I keep saying that. And I'm going to keep saying it. I just love him so much. And I love these two. I mean, like, the the heat between these two. Like, it's very slow burned. Very slow burned. Like, they're not, like, you know, in love or anything yet, I don't think. But you could tell that they are hot for each other. <laughs> I know that sounds weird saying that, huh? That they're hot for each other. But they are. <laughs> you could tell. They had that really, like, good spark, that chemistry. So, yeah, like, really good chemistry. So, yeah, I definitely um, am loving it. So, I ha I'm at 48% according to, um, what is it called? Scribe? No, not Scribe. Oh, gosh. To, um, where was that one? Yeah, did I use? Story Graph. Yeah, Story Graph says I'm 48% into this book. I can't even remember if I put down that I was re read it, reading The Weight of Blood on Storygraph or on um, Goodreads yet. So I need to check that. Um, yeah. That's all I really got to say. I'm still kind of feeling bleh. And I'm tired. And we had a good dinner. We had KFC. It was so good. I love chicken. I always get the wings. I don't know why I like the wings so much, but I do. And we had mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese and biscuits. And I get this sweet mountain lightning or something like that's called. It's good. Definitely a good, good time. Good drink. <laughs> but yeah, I doubt if I'll update you guys anymore tonight. And most likely... Um, most likely, I'm just going to, like, just end it here. I don't think I'm going to finish any anything tonight, and this video is getting already long. Um, <coughs> but, yeah, I'm going to try to finish this one and at least The Way to Blood. I don't know if I'll get to any of the other books in the TBR, and I don't think I'm going to do any of the prompts. 
you know what I mean, like any of the like drinks or anything like that. So I'm sorry that that this readathon ain't going as good as what I was hoping it would. Um, or the way that Ashley was hoping it would, you know. Both of us like have been dealing with sickness and I've been in a reading slump. Um, well, really, hers ain't the sickness. She started a new, she started a medicine, and it made her really sick and stuff. Um, yeah, so. But I'm going to let you guys go, and I will start a new video if I fill up to reading tomorrow. I want to start my secret TBR, which ain't really secret. <laughs> Because I mentioned it before. You guys might not remember me mentioning it. Because I mentioned a couple of things I wanted to do. Like a secret TBR for. Um, but I'm going to take my time on it. Because if I do the one that I'm that I'm thinking about doing right now. I won't um, get the newest one. Until, I mean, the next book that I need for it. Um, until, um, like... Friday, I think it is. I think it's Friday. So I'll have to take my time. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm sorry I didn't finish a book for this one. And this, this, I'm sure this vlog is boring. <laughs> but what can you do? Not all the vlogs are going to be exciting. But yeah. At least I got 200 pages into here. And 50 pages in there, or 58 pages into there, so all together, so, I mean, why I was doing this read -a, read and vlog for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys go. I'll check, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Happy reading. And I hope you guys are having a better reading month than I am. Let me know if you, what your um, favorite book so far this month is and your least favorite. I've only finished one book, and you guys know... That I loved it. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is the witch. The year of the witching. But yeah. So we'll find out. <coughs> Excuse me. Most likely if I wind up DNFing the weight of blood. Then that would. So far even though I haven't finished it. That would be my least favorite book. I'm just not liking it. But like I said. I'm going to give it at least 100. 150 pages probably but if I'm not feeling it between 100 and 150 then I'm gonna say bye and just DNF it which I hate because I was really looking forward to it but you're not gonna love every book that you're looking forward to right but I will let you know in the next video what I have to submit